what's up what's up what's up it's your girl haitian doll that sophia back at again with another youtube video it's like i say come on here all that all that if you are new to my channel make sure you definitely go ahead and subscribe so you can become part of the dollhouse today and you can come become a dollar today make sure you go ahead and like and comment on this video my future videos and my past videos so i can know that you were here and like you really helps with the youtube algorithm make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss none of my saucy and fire contents and make sure you definitely subscribe as i said before because you definitely want to become a dolly so before we get into today's video i'm going to give you guys as usual the shout out of the day and the outfit of the day so coming up first we had the shout out of the day and the shout out of the day is going to sim simple jessica r and her channel consists of makeup looks booty sets product reviews and she uploads every monday wednesday and friday and I just love her channel. Her makeup looks are so fire. And she gives thorough hair reviews and product reviews. So you can't go wrong. And I just love her channel. She is so pretty. I love her natural hair. I love her rig reviews. And her channel is just very interesting. And definitely make sure you go ahead and check out her channel. Because I'll leave all her information in the iCard description. And on the screen. And her Instagram will definitely be in the description box. Next we have the outfit of the day. As I told you guys when I'm filming. We just really chill with it. Nothing too crazy. So I have on this black cami that I got from Walmart when I was doing my DIY crop top video. And then I have on these biker shorts. They actually came as leggings, but I cut them into biker shorts. And the leggings were from Forever 21. And they're just burgundy. And then I have on my regular degular pink, blue, and white Nike slides. So... As I said, pretty chill fits when I'm filming. So, let's get into the purpose of today's video. So, for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an edges tutorial. Well, basically an updated edges tutorial. Because I did one long time ago. I think that was in 2019. But, this is going to be my edge tutorial for 2021. Because I always pick up new products. And I just want to let you go let you go let you guys know what products i use for my hair because as time progresses, like my hair does change because as the years go by i get more and more natural because i went natural in 2015 and it's currently 2021 so it's almost been six years and it'll be six years when it becomes may because i went natural in may 2015 so when it becomes may 2020 i could officially say it's been six years since i've been natural so as time progresses, my edges like they do curl up more because i'm getting more and more natural and i could say that i'm not really in the transition in zone but i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my edges today and i'm going to try to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see so these are how my edges look right now this is just from yesterday and yes, they already curled up, but you can see that they still have potential to be laid. So, you could actually wet your edge brush. I don't really have to do that with mine because my edges already have product in it. But as you can see, my edges do need to be relayed down. And I just got my hair done three days ago. I got my hair done on the 12th of January. And today is the... What today's date is? Today is January 16th. Did I get my hair done on the 12th or the 13th? I don't remember. I got my hair done on Thursday. And today is um, um, Saturday. So, yeah. I be getting confused, so y'all figure it out. But, yeah, I got my hair done on a Thursday, and today is Saturday. So, what you're going to need right here is Gorilla Snot. And I have the Rockero one, and it's red and blue. And this is a 9-meter hold. I like the yellow one, but to be honest, I feel like this one is better for my hair like i use both of them but ever since i started using this one i kind of been hooked to this one but i like the yellow one but this one actually comes out like a um like a clear color it has a little tint of blue but you can barely see it when you do your edges but when we use the your, um we use the yellow one you low-key can see like the yellow flakes after a while and then you have to wash your edges even though i already wash my edges but i don't wash my edges every day i do it like every so often but still you just don't want yellow tint in your edges but it does lay my hair down i just try not to use as much so i'm gonna take this much product and i don't like to put too much because you basically don't want to start off with too much because you're not going to even be able to take it away even if you add water like it's going to be hard to take away the product so what i just do i just go through my edges like this like a straight line at first just to map out like where i wanted my edges to go because i only do two soups on this side 
but I map out where my edges are gonna be directing towards and then I add some more product as I go on as I told you guys and sometimes it's the product too much I just put it on there and I'll put it back in there when I'm done doing my edges so you just want to keep going like this so that way you can just map out how you want to direct your edges and what direction are you going to swoop them I did zoom in but yeah I know I just gotta come a little closer so now you can start swooping them and if you see my forehead turning a little bit red it's because I have sensitive skin I'm not light skin light skin but you guys know I'm a little um caramel so my skin is very sensitive so it'll it'll turn red over nothing to be honest but no I'm not hurting myself and since I already had product in it my hair is laying like pretty quick but if you don't have like no product in it let's say you just wash your edges it may take a little bit longer for your hair to look as laid as mine's but You'll get there because this product really works for natural hair. From what I can see, even it works for 4C natural hair. And I have type 4A, 4B, and a little bit of 3C. But mainly 4A, 4B. And it works for my natural hair. And I've seen people with 4C hair actually use it for their hair. And it works for them. So. But then again, some people have the same hair type. And certain hair products don't work for them. But this works for my hair along with the yellow one and I think I tried the purple one too the one that comes in the purple packaging but I think the purple one the product actually comes out blue and I don't really like the smell of the purple one it's like it has like a menthol smell I don't like it but I think it laid my hair pretty well I just don't like the smell of it so now we're gonna move on to the other side and we know we're not done with that side I just alternate between the sides so you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna add your product in a straight line. Don't worry about swooping right now. We didn't even do the sideburns. That's how you know I'm not finished yet. But you're just gonna keep adding your product. As I said, add it in a straight line at first. Because right now you're not doing any swoops. You're just trying to get your edges to lay before you even start swooping. Now you start swooping. You could use a little bit of your fingers to guide you as well. And if you have any residue, it's fine. Some people actually lay their, lay their edges. Some people are actually tie their edges down when they're done laying them now. I really don't like doing that because I just got to be glued and it can get stuck to the head scarf so I just let them lay naturally or I blow dry them. I usually blow dry my edges but um I mean it's not always necessary for me to blow dry my edges so I forgot to do this edge right here. Well this swoop. And for this I could just swoop because it's the only thing right here. And you barely see that swoop because I didn't leave well she didn't leave a lot of my edges. Out right there. Well, then we're gonna do the sideburns a little bit more. We low key did the sideburns on this side, but not too much, not in depth. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more product just to get in there because I have a little bit of hair that just want to stay curly a little bit right there. So I want to make sure I really get in there before I even put on the product that I'm going to show you guys and you guys definitely want to pick up that product because it works like wonders so okay move on to the other side see this side is laying better than that side but I'm going to try to see if I could get it to lay a little better before I move on I think that's the best we're going to get because sometimes I alternate between the products anyways so Okay, so I purchased this product on Amazon. This is the Gummy Styling Wax Hard Finish Extra Start. And I just went on Amazon looking for like edge control and like anything 
that's like a stronghold and what i suggest for when you're looking for like edge controls and gels you need to get products that are for men because i i find that with men hair products they have a stronger hold than products that are for women and this says it's a silent wax but it's basically an edge control as you can see with the consistency consistency and it smells like oranges and the hold on this is so bomb so i was looking through the reviews and i was seeing that people with natural hair use it on their edges and they use it like all over their hair to slick, slick their hair back when they're doing like slick styles so i was like i definitely gotta pick this up i only paid seven dollars for this but it was originally like six something i think and then they had like taxes on it for seven dollars but that's not bad for seven dollars it comes with a lot of product in here and i was like before i get my hair done i definitely need to purchase this on amazon so i already have it very thick consistency don't fall out the jar so that's what you look for in the edge control in the edge control you want it to be very thick and i like just using men products because the consistency is way better and i feel like it lays your hair way better so i'm gonna take some of that on the brush and i'm just gonna go over that gorilla snot and as you can see it just works with the gorilla snot and just lays your edges even further so like if you have a problem with your gorilla snot like as i said gorilla snot lays my edges and it lays my natural hair but at the same time there's going to be times where your hair is just going to act up so there are going to be times where some parts of your edge is going to look curly and wavy so you want to go over it with an edge control that's what i always do i either use like multiple gels and an edge control or i use like one gel and an edge control or two gels and edge control it all depends like what type of products i'm using or how my edges are acting on that particular day now you're gonna do your sideburns I'm gonna take some more product because you really want to make sure those things are laid down before you do your last step. And a little bit more product. I'm telling you, you want your edges to be laid down. Especially if you plan on being out for a while, you want your edges to be laid down. And I just like my edges to be laid. Like, when I get my hair done and my edges not laid, I feel like I'm out of place. Moving on, I'm going to be using the Got To Be Glue Spray, the yellow packaging they actually have like a blue and purple one but i'm using the yellow packaging i have the blue and purple one and i don't really like it like that like yes it gives me a hold factor when i'm doing my edges or when like i use it on my wigs but i feel like this one i'm just used to it so like when i use the other one i don't see like the same effect it might just be me but i just spray my brush my toothbrush with the product and you want to shake off a little bit of the excess and you let it dry a little bit so i'm actually going to turn the camera off and then i'm going to come back to you guys after it gets a little bit tacky and then we're going to run it over my edges and you guys are going to see what that does for your edges and how it hardens it and all that good stuff so i'll be back when this dries a little bit okay now that it is dried a little bit more so you're just going to run it over your edges and this just keeps like the drag the straightaway hair is in place and then further lays it down, especially if your edges are curling up a little bit. So what I like to do is also take a little bit more of that edge control size wax. And you don't want to put too much as I said because you will always put too much and not be able to get it out you probably just gotta start back over and watch your edges all over and your edge is gonna be looking crazy because you have too much edge control so don't go too crazy with it now 
now you can add a little bit more product because now you see that you need a little bit more. And I also like that my cousin didn't leave out too much edges because when you leave out too much edges, when you get your braids or your twist done, like it's harder to do your edges, especially if you're a person with thick long edges like me. You don't want to leave out too much edges if you don't want to leave out too little. So as you guys can see, I got to go in a little bit more because this right here wants to be a little stubborn. Like it wants to wave up. Like it's laid, but you know what I mean. Okay, I think we got them. We got it. So let me show you guys my edges a little bit more. Let me just zoom in. So this is this side. We have the two swoops and the sideburns. And then two swoops and sideburns. So I'm gonna go with a little bit more got to be blue. I barely put some on the brush. I'm gonna shake it again. And this just takes off like the excess. So you don't have too much got to be good and it takes forever to get tacky. And then I'm just gonna tap it over my edges at first. Tap, tap, tap. Before I actually go back in like the swooping motion. Do it to the other side. And there you have it. The edges are laid. So, you definitely want to pick up these products because I feel like everybody knows about Gorilla Snot. But you definitely want to pick up this product right here because I would not steal you wrong. This will be on my thumbnail so you guys can find it. And I'll probably put the link for the Amazon purchase. Well, the Amazon item on there so you guys are able to find it because this product right here is the truth i am so glad i purchased it i love the smell it's not harsh smelling and it lays natural hair so that's how i tell you guys to get products that are made for men's hair because they will not steal you wrong so these are how my edges is looking let me put it in the middle part so you guys can see like first of all these things are laid but i'm probably gonna go in with my scarf like a little bit after it dries a little bit more just to get that further snatch look but my edges look good and i usually wear like this since i got my hair done like a minute ago and it kind of still like it's kind of like still tender but i usually just wear it to the side like this and that's pretty much how i lay my edges guys so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial definitely let me know down below if you're loving my hair i know that um somebody commented that they like my new hairstyle and it is pretty long yeah it is pretty long this actually came as a um 24 inch but when you like put it together it becomes a 12 inch but my cousin actually extended it so that's why it doesn't look like a 12 inch it looks longer than that. It actually looks like a 24 or 30 something inch. But yeah, I love this hairstyle. I love the colors. And this is how I picked for my hair to come out. Because I wanted these colors. And I said I wanted Marley Twist. And then she asked me if I wanted it um, straight ends or curly. And I said curly because I feel like it gave it a more bohemian, like, hippie look. So that's why I wanted it curly. And yeah, I just think this style is really cute. So if you want any details on this style, I'll make a dedicated video for you guys but i just give you a little insight on it and i hope you guys enjoy this edge tutorial and definitely make sure you go pick up that product from amazon and that's pretty much all i have to say to you guys oh and i also got my nails done i got my toes done too but i'm not really finna show all of that just for the purpose of not making this video too long so definitely make sure you go ahead and check out simply simple jessica r's channel i'll leave her information in the icard description and on the screen and yeah that's pretty much all i have for you guys today thank you for tuning into my videos happy new year and we are on the road to 3k so keep subscribing and showing love and that's pretty much all i have for you guys today 
Make sure you turn on post notifications so you don't miss none of my Saucy and Fire content. Make sure you subscribe so you can become part of the dollhouse today. Make sure you like and comment on this video, my future videos, and my past videos. And commenting really helps with the YouTube algorithm as well as liking. And I love interacting with you guys in the comment section down below. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Without further ado, let's end out this video with love and with care. Be blessed and don't be stressed. Not when we're on call Haitian doll. That's Sophia out. Oh,